Well, thank you very much, uh, uh, viewers, wherever you're watching us from. Uh, a lot has been uh, happening, and uh, this late afternoon, I would like to address uh, uh, and bring to light four uh, issues. Uh, number one uh, is the hot issue of the arrest of uh, uh, Ambassador Mwamba and uh, many others who are basically in the uh, media uh, team that is aligned to or perceived to be aligned to patriotic front. Uh, it has become very apparent that these arrests are basically politically motivated uh, in trying to silence the voice of Patriotic Front. All those whose platforms have been uh, available for PF to express their views and positions on a number of issues that affect the Zambian people. The police have been used by the UPND to not only arrest, but to brutalize um, those individuals. Uh, Ambassador Mwamba, who was yesterday assaulted by police and uh, requiring medical attention, uh, the turn of event is that he is the one now they want to, they have charged for assault, which is very, very unfortunate. We know that the reason for which uh, uh, he has been arrested and many others that have been arrested is that the UPND have devised a mechanism in the absence of uh, Misaka and the HLMA to, you know, arrest uh, individuals with a narrative backing those arrests, suggesting that uh, what has been circulating in public media, and we all know the source, uh, which is basically from uh, international reputable um, organizations and personalities and has been trending on social media in Zambia to do with the uh, orders that the uh, president is alleged to have made to contain the Catholic Church and also to contain the various views. The patriotic front is demanding that the UPND should not use the police to answer to issues that they themselves must be able to explain. They have given mixed answers. The first response was that uh, we will arrest those who leaked that document. Leaking the document implies that it was a document that was kept secret and therefore it has now found its way in the public. Few days later, when that did not go well, now they want to change the narrative and say these were forged letters and forged documents. We want answers, not the brutality of the police. The second issue is the trip that the president has made um, that is dubbed the peace mission. First of all, if I were to advise Mr. Aka in the I wish we had the opportunity to advise him before he left. First of all, our president has no moral authority to engage in those peace talks because he has already expressed in many ways his alignment to the West that are seen to be perpetrators of the war between Ukraine and Russia. Having voted against Russia and having demonstrated in many ways, including propaganda stories that uh, have been reported on the uh, um, UPND social platforms, Causeway, Watchdog, suggesting that, uh, according to them, Russia participated in the gassing in Zambia. And you expect that the president presiding over um, such an, uh, you know, a government and a political party advancing such propaganda would be well received in in Russia. 
and their message will be respected. That's a pipe dream. A message is as important as a messenger. Misaika in the HDMI is a wrong messenger to go and engage in peace talks between Ukraine and Russia. He should have just sat home. Two, in the recent past, it is clear that Zambia has now been turned into a pariah state. We had a very important event, the handing over of the chairmanship of COMESA. We expected that heads of state would come, not only to attend the ceremonial event, but also enjoy all that Zambia has to offer in terms of tourism attractions, and also engage in some of the economic mm -hmm. activities that Zambia has to offer. But what we saw is that out of the over 20 something heads of state that were expected, only four came because it was uh, for them uh, mandatory. Mm. You know, they, they had an obligation to come and attend that event. And they only came, gave their speech and went back to airport and left. Those who know uh, what that message is, if you ask veteran diplomats like Venon Mwanga, including the incarcerated uh, colleague of ours, Emmanuel Mamba, they will tell you that it's a message to Zambia that we are now a pariah state. The region, the continent is sending a message that they are not happy with the policy position that the UPN did advancing. Coming to the local situations, I want to put it on record that uh, these petty politics that the UPND are advancing. Just a few days ago, uh, this young man, uh, Robert Chawinga of Mafinga constituency, was and continues to boast that he is the one that forced the president and also law enforcement agencies to go and harass Honorable Richard Musukwa just because there are rumors that are circulating that the people of Mafinga are demanding of him to go and represent him as member of parliament. He went to, Ch to Chirilabombwe and made public pronouncements, which public pronouncements were now actualized into uh, attempting to embarrass Honorable Musuka. The Honorable Musuka case is a good case for all of us to look into uh, because it demonstrates that people that are being subjected to searches and seizures um, it is only for political reasons. All the properties that have been seized uh, um, uh, from Honorable Musukwa are properties that he acquired before he even became member of parliament. And they were declared even before the office of the Chief Justice and documents are there. And uh, the only other property is the one that he's still constructing now as a businessman. When you look at his capacity, running the outfits that he runs in Chirabombo and uh, in some parts of the country. He is one that can, may, we, I mean, we can say, af can afford to build anything. The flats that he's building here in Osaka, really, uh, and to go and suggest that he cannot afford that really is an insult. But what I want to bring to attention, to the attention is that now people are being harassed, their property seized for political reasons. Because uh, this boy, Chavinga and Kavus, were threatened by uh, Honorable Msukwa, now he has become a target. And how can a president reduce himself to such using the police, DEC, and others, you know, to set a scores between politicians? That's very unfortunate. But all in all, Mr. Aka and HDMI should just return for a moment where he's gone because he is actually one that is going to jeopardize the mission uh, trip that. Uh, African leaders have undertaken to Ukraine and to Russia. I thank you and God bless.